Okay, I'm gonna. It's a tour, I'm gonna play a little game with you. Ever anybody ever played charades? Oh, charades is fun, right? Maybe it's charades are fun. We can maybe discuss that later. Um, I just want you to tell me though. It's not exactly charades. I want to tell you. I want you to tell me who this reminds you of when I do something. Okay. All right. So. A teenage girl. Excellent, thank you. Now how about this for, for equal opportunity? Ooh, a person dancing, yes. But I, you can't really tell with this big robe, but right now my muscles would be bulging. Right? I mean, I'd be ripped. Just... <laughs> Who does that? A DJ player? Yeah. Or like a, a guy at a weight room? Any of you ever been to a gym? You know, and there's nobody here, but you know those guys. They have thin legs, big upper bodies, and they can't stop looking in the mirror, those guys. Your brother? Okay. <laughs> 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 That's good. I like that. Um, okay. How about, how about, now think carefully because I'm going to do something that's probably going to remind you, okay? You ready? You watching? But who? The Grinch. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Actually, I hope that doesn't remind you of anybody you know, but except for me, right? Someone being silly, that's exactly right. Okay, so if you see someone doing something that you think is silly, do you do it? Would you do that, what I just did? No, of course not. Like a lunatic, yes, exactly. <laughs> and you don't want to be like me, like that, right? Uh, but what if you see somebody doing something that you think is good, that you admire? Would you want to do it too? Okay, like what? Helping someone. Good. You jumped ahead of me. Very good. Isla. Or maybe, what am I doing now? Praying, right? And when I'm praying, what am I doing? Talking to God, but I'm also listening to God, right? You can pray without even talking. You can listen, see what you can hear in your ears, with your ears, or in your heart. Um, so that's, those are two things that we want to admire, that we, we, we want to emulate, want to copy, if we see something good. What about helping people, praying? Um, how many of you like to clean up your room? We'll verify that later, Niall, all right? Right, who cleans up your room mostly? Yeah, my mom. Yeah, my mom did too until my mom didn't live with me anymore. And my room still didn't get cleaned up for a long time. And then I figured out if there was no one else to do it. I better do it. What about this table here? What do we do here? There's bread over there. That's right. Yeah. What else? What's that? Well, we eat around the table. We come up to it and we get some food. Yeah, that's right. What else do we do here? Why is there bread there? Yeah, you're, we're going to find out in a minute. In fact, bread, I think I moved it and didn't put it back where I was supposed to. Okay, so we've got bread, we've got juice. Now, what, why do we do this? For God, that's right. And for God, we don't just eat at this table, we also invite other people to eat with us at this table. We welcome each other. We show hospitality to each other. It's like when someone knocks on your door late at night. In our culture and country, we tell them to get away, go away. We don't answer the door, we hide. You know, you ever done that when the Jehovah's Witnesses come up? You kind of hide behind the couch and hope that they're not going to. You don't do that? No. I don't do that either. Yeah. Okay. But in the culture that Jesus lived, and still in this church, the idea is everyone is welcome at our table. Doesn't matter what time, doesn't matter who they are, where they've been. 
And you're welcome too, because God loves you so much. All right? And when we do this communion once a month here in this church, we're reminding ourselves, just like when we help people or clean our room or say our prayers, of something that's good to do so that we can feel welcome and we can also share that same feeling of being loved and welcome with other people, okay? So this is something, now what's in this basket? Bread, exactly. Let's take a look, right? And it's naturally cubed bread. It grows like that, I think. I don't know. And then what's in this other one over here? Juice. That's exactly right. And these little, we call them Presbyterian glasses, okay? Yeah, take a look. Yeah. That's your table. That's the table for, of your family, and we get to welcome each other and anybody who joins us to this table because we're all one family. Can you say a prayer with me by bowing your heads, closing your eyes, and grabbing your ears? You ready? Let's do it. Are your eyes closed? Okay. Dear God, thank you for this table and for reminding us what an important habit it is to welcome others like you welcome us. We love you. Amen. Okay, can let go of your ears and go to Sunday school. All right, thank you very much, guys.